with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I've been a police officer in the city of Cleveland for approximately five years, working in the third district. Uh, this district covers the downtown area, south out into the projects up to the 55th Street area. I find the crime uh, in the downtown area to be most interesting out of all the other districts uh, because you have such a variety of different uh, people from the downtown area out into the projects in the uh, ethnic areas. Uh, due to the work population in the downtown area, we come across a lot of stolen vehicles and uh, members of our zone car uh, work heavily on pursuing stolen cars. That's one of our primary functions on this car. We we'll respond over the air to uh, Longwood Estates uh, off Wood Woodland Avenue. Apparently, uh, security guards have a suspect involved in uh, grand theft of a motor vehicle of some kind. He's supposed to be on scene. That's all we have as of right now. Going to wait for further. Get on it, Mel. Get on it. Get on it. Get on it, Mel. Pursuit of a vehicle here taking an aggravated robbery. Get out of it, Mel. Watch that bump, man. Watch his median. Three hundred one, be advised, we're right on it. Eastbound Carnegie. Eastbound Carnegie. Southbound 21, northbound 21st. You went on it. Still he's down. We got a car up at 36. He's bound, crossing 36. Prospect, he's bound. Coming up to 40, it's still he's bound. We got three occupants, I believe. Crossing 40, it's still eastbound, coming up to 5-5. Still eastbound, coming to 5-5. You're gonna lose it. You're gonna lose it.
What's going on here? We got three males involved in some sort of aggravated robbery. Yeah, they're coming. They're carjacking, fresh carjacking. Yeah. Fresh carjacking. Weapons were involved. It's supposed to be all armed. Seat, man, where'd all this come from? Any weapons found? No, not yet. I didn't want to go through it because I don't know what's involved here. Apparently, this car was taken in a carjacking out in the fifth district. Woodhill and uh, Market. Uh, I didn't see any weapons come out of the car when they were going. We were how long has the chase been going? What did they start? Where did the chase start at? Hey, just lay it tight, Mac. This guy was, this guy over here was driving. This guy in this other car was driving here. He buried his head into the windshield. He says he's got a headache. This guy here? Yeah. Hey, uh, Eddie. Wow. We were right next to him, all, all the way down the street. We were on the left side of him in the, in the opposite lane. You know, there's supposed to be guns or something. They said they had weapons, so I'm propped up with the window open. I got the shotgun pump, man. And we're right up next to him. I mean, we're right here on him. And we got up to here, and I'm going, Mel, I'm going, Mel, he ain't going to make this. He is not going to make this corner, man. I said, so we started breaking and slowing down. All you see is dust and smoke, and a car starts fishtailing. I mean, just coming. You can see he's trying to turn the wheel and stop, man. He hit this, he hit this barricade, and we pulled up right next to him. The driver of the car was over the steering wheel on top of the dash in the windshield. His whole body, his feet were sticking out. Sticking out by the seat, man. His whole body was tucked underneath the windshield. Was it? Was that the rear passenger or the oh, front, front the seat passenger. that was bleeding? Yeah. What when he hit his head on? The this the window? The windshield and the whole. Because he's. I think the mirror. Yeah, he's bleeding good because he's. Ble he had blood coming out of his ears. Yeah, he hit the. Looks like he hit the mirror and the. Uh, and the windshield. Well, this one didn't end up like yesterday's, huh? Unbelievable. Nobody was uh, killed in something like that. The driver himself had minor injuries. The passenger was the worst off, but if you look at the car, you would think the, the driver was killed. Like I said, you never know what the heck's going on. Probably about 80% uh, of what we do out here is, is all domestic. Uh, the economic conditions, uh, high crime, high drug rates, puts a lot of stress on families. And uh, a lot of what you do here is, is uh, domestic and family problems. So a lot of people are going to become is kind of a, a marriage councils with guns. It's incredible. This is something we dealt with a little bit earlier today. Uh, kind of a domestic thing. He's broken her hand. He's uh, uh, knocked down her mother's door. He's known to be pretty violent. So we're just going to kind of work this out here. Shoot your ass, brother. Turn around. Man. Put your hands behind your head. Right now. Turn around and put your hands behind your head, Robert. Robert. Hey, George, he's this side.
Is he up there? Yeah. Yeah, come on. Burglary, okay? You know him? No burglary. I didn't steal anything, sir. Oh, man, I don't believe this, man. That's my son here, man. Let's go. Oh, sorry, Dad. Get up. Get him. Get him outside. I didn't even do nothing, man. I just had an argument with my girlfriend, man. Can someone get an SIU up here for that? I want to photograph that door. Sir? Twelve. Sally, I'm gonna call you. Why you do this, Sally? Why you do this? Why did you never talk to somebody? Get in the car. I'm gonna call Get you in an hour. Accept the call, please. Get in the car. Watch your leg. Okay, we're going to Nag Burke right now, right? Uh, Rich? Let me catch my breath before we All right. Okay. Why'd you do it to me? Why'd you do it to me? You don't do that to me, you don't play me like that. Don't you like one. Go be with your bank of New York clothes. You got a beep with your car up. That's what you get, Robert. You don't treat me like that. I didn't do anything to you. Why did you do me like that? How could you not have no respect for me? Yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get. So we were flagged down about an hour ago from the lady who had said her arm broken in the past from this guy. She didn't want to press charge on that at the time. just happened last week. Uh, now he's taking her keys. She can't get into her apartment for a medication for her arm that's broken and some pain. We went to help her out. Her boyfriend, which was outside at the time, we went to approach him to get the keys. He took off running. After a lengthy foot pursuit, we ran up into his mother house house where this all started sometime this morning. And uh, we caught him hiding under a bed. As it stands right now, we don't know exactly what charges we'll find him. I'm sure we got a few. You can't be having call me to do things for you and then not press charges. You can't do that. Don't bother just, calling me. I just wanted to get in the house. I just wanted to get in the house. That was the reason me well, calling. You shouldn't call the police then for that. They you don't want to prosecute to and you want to go through this, let the man bust up your arm. No, I don't destroy, want to bust. Quiet, don't, please. Let him destroy your mother's house and cause all this aggravation for me. You don't call the police then, okay? We're not like a maid service or a valet service for you, okay? If you're a victim of crime, you call us. Now, what do you want to do now? You want to keep taking this? I'll let him go right now. You can take him home. No, I don't want to take, take him home. home. Come on, I'll let him go. You want to no. take him home? Then what are you going to do with him? Go. He can just go. I don't want. I, yeah, Where's he going to go? Right here. Where's he going to go? Back to the apartment. I just want to get You're stuck in. with him again. Yeah. You're stuck with him. You're stuck with him. You know he's going to keep on. That's it. He's all yours now. And I can't make him go to Youngstown to stay away from the You know what I mean? You want him? You want him? I'll give him to you. You want him, Mama? You want to press charges or not? Why are, they, why are they so afraid of you? I ain't did nothing to her, man. You just had an argument. How they doing I'm broken? saying we had an argument, though. She was telling me screaming out on the balcony, putting everybody in the business. I was just upset, man. That's all. When I get you out of here, you going to Youngstown? You want to get some gas? I'm going home, man. I don't need to be here. You're home in Youngstown, home. right? Yes, sir. Not up on St. Clair. That's where I live at. I got all my stuff there. My refrigerator store, that's all my stuff. Well, you get your stuff out of there and go to Youngstown if we ain't going to hold you here for anything. You understand that? All right, man. No more calls on this. But you see how stupid I was? I knew it was. Y'all making a big thing. It wasn't nothing, man. Wait, if you take off, Who ran, Robert? I don't want to go to jail. You know how women are, man. You know? No, she'll be a victim forever for you. Don't worry about that. Unbelievable. Oh, this is for nothing. Man, that's some kind of love, huh? All right, we're out of here. Uh, they call us the battling second. Basically, because 
Seems like everybody we try to arrest here has to fight, flee, and do whatever they can to try and get away. We don't have the drug problems of the other districts, but boy, do we have the alcohol problem. A lot worse than drugs. In fact, the district is a wonderful district. I love it here. You got your black, your white, Hispanic, you got everybody here. There were bad guys on these streets long before we came, and there'll be bad guys long after we're gone, but in the meantime, we catch as many of the bad guys as we can. Don't hit the car. Don't, don't rock the car, Don. He's on 76th Street on southbound. He's on Guthrie going westbound for 76. Westbound for 76 is going to be he's bailing bailing. out. He's bailing. Two eight three. 
Officer Dunn, 283. I want a badge It'll number. It'll be on your booking card. I want a badge number. Pull him back a little bit, will you? Gotta run just a little bit faster. Badge yeah. number. My shoe was Watch on your head. high. Badge number. He's there, little boy. You chase him down. It's beast here. I tried to pull him over at the 38th and Clinton. He had a prostitute on board. She bailed out. I took the lights, he took off. Oh, so you're gonna stop him for prostitution and uh, he turned his lights off. He took off then. Okay. Get out of for a lawyer, we've already free of cost if you want one. Yeah. Understand those rights? Shut the door. I'm getting tired of your voice. Getting tired of my voice, you understand your rights? Shut the door. Bye bye. I'll see if I have response, the answer is negative. Under arrest or felony fleeing the loop. And what's that carry? The felony of the fourth degree is up to the court to see what you get. We gotta take him back to the second district for booking. Another car is uh, towing his vehicle for us. Found a couple of open beers, a couple of still ready to use, nice and cold for him in the cab. So, probably hit him with the driving under the influence of alcohol also. Now he's going to prison. Job well done. Teamwork. <laughs> And keep it here on Zone Reality as those cops burst back onto your screen in just a moment. Okay, we'll stop down at code three.